we made new changes to the base. I have turtle traps. The turtle traps are actually pretty funny. When the squirrels or the deer or cannibals step on them, it shoots them in the air. That's actually pretty hilarious. I apologize for my voice, but I've been extremely sick since October. So that's like five months of being hospital hospitalable sick. And unfortunately, it's all downhill from here. Ah, bugger. That's the problem. When I reset them, I generally step on one. Eat a few plants for health. All right. Looks like we've been killing a lot of squirrels. It's very annoying to go I have to reset 15 or 20 traps every hour. But it's pretty fun for a while. So we'll reset a few real quick. And then I'll show you all the changes to the base. We beat the game about four or five days ago. So now we're just in goof around mode. We're getting attacked by demons, which are an end game thing. Well, I guess once you beat the game, it puts you in a different mode when you're doing freestyle play. Because now I get attacked by stuff I never used to. Okay, I built this little ramp. Just to get over my spikes. Because I spend a lot of time finding medicine to heal. Because I walk into the spikes a lot. This is my ramp. For my zip line tower. We built a tower to get away from the creepies if our health is low. Oop, somebody just hit a trap. All right, this is the zip line. You can see I made the house a lot bigger. Put a second story platform, a nice railing. That is my zip line that goes up to the top of the mountains. You can see behind the trees. It's a very long ride, but it took some save file editing to be able to do it. Now this zip line Oh, I guess there it is. This one here, when you come in, it automatically drops you right down here. We now have lights from a solar panel. I greatly increased the inside of the lower level. I put a door, a new door, took out the ramp door. There's all of our supplies, save game. Get a quick view of it from the outside at night. Lit up real nice. All right. 
change the time so it's daytime. Save again. Mr. Waz and I had a really good time playing this game. Some of the factors are really hard. He spent a good portion of his time reviving my character because of the lack of oxygen and being 166 years old, my reaction time's a little bit slow. So I got killed a lot and he had to come over and revive me. But he's been such a wonderful guy to play games with. He's from Amman, Jordan. Very personable guy. I have all those. This is Kelvin. We call him Kevin because Kelvin just seems stupid. And he's always getting killed and then I have to go back and revive him. Okay, there's the nice log bridge. You can see the zip lines. I put a double row of spikes all the way around the camp. Some cannibals and some creatures still are able to jump over it. Otherwise, it wouldn't be any fun to sit in here. To sit in here and have a 100% fortress would be pretty boring. Be like sitting home listening to my ex-wife talk about her plans. I got lights under the house because we have a lot of storage under here. I opened it up to multiplayer and two guys come in and cleaned out my shelves, which is fine. I knew that was going to happen. And there's my solar panel. One of the other players built a bed in my yard. I have a bed inside. Don't need one in the yard. I managed to get all the weapons. There's a sled. You climb up the mountain and take the sled down goes really fast. You don't take any damage. There's a crossbow, compound bow, chainsaw. The katana, that's a monster weapon. I love that thing. There's the rebreather required to go through a couple of the caves. Clothing that I picked up. I should put Kevin back in the tuxedo. Armor. Here's a pistol, hand grenades. Here's our zipline gun, shotgun. So yeah, once we beat it, we normally go find another game but I've been having fun just playing around. Yesterday I had a couple of brand new players come in and ask me if I'd help them. So I kind of played for a while with them, showing them where to find stuff. See, I built a spike wall. Uh-oh, squirrel. Oh, he got some height. He went up over the trees. It's 
sit here for a minute and see if another one will hit. It's actually pretty funny watching the squirrels and deers fly 40 feet in the air. And again, there's so many squirrels and rabbits that I spend all my time resetting traps waiting for cannibals. All right, we can take a zip line ride. The zip lines are pretty fun. The ride up to the mountains is really long. So we won't do that one. There's a abandoned cannibal camp up here, which is where you go when they kill you and you respawn. Oh, there's a creepy guy. Oh yeah, that was nice. Took his head right off. Now we skin him. And use his skin for armor. Which I've got on my arms. There's usually more than one. When you get killed, you wind up up here on a post and you have to cut yourself free, find your equipment, and then go back down to the camp. Plus there's some supplies here. Looks like I need food. Phew. Drop the rotten meat. Dried meat, I'll eat that. And a MRE. That'll do it. Get another drink. I really like games like this that have great graphics. And with ray tracing turned on, I, I enjoy this. I play No Man's Sky, uh, Call of the Wild Hunter, all because of the graphics and the ray tracing. We'll follow the deer. Squirrel. There he goes. Ah. Okay, I turned on big head mode. Big head mode is entertaining as hell. I guess I'm easily entertained. It's like the bunny rabbits, the deer, Kevin, standing in the fire, because he's an idiot. But the bunnies and the squirrels are hilarious. That's a bunny that died. Where are we 
reset these just because it's fun to watch them fly. And me too. I don't seem to be able to reset them without doing that at least once. This game's a little fussy about cursor alignment for actions. See, I pushed the squirrel onto it before I cleaned it, and it shot it. I like that. Yeah, the hitbox seems to be a little large. see how this gets tedious. Let's find a rabbit. Now. There's Mr. Deer in big head mode. So many animals. I know there's a cheat code to turn them down or off, but I don't do mods. I'm not a big fan of cheat codes. To me, if you're going to play a game and use a cheat code, why bother? There's a bunny. They're just so funny. I wish they looked like that in real life. See how many bunnies there are? That's why my traps are always set off. Boom. That was a deer. Yeah, that was a deer it threw. Now he's going to sit out there and flip. Because in big head mode, everything spins. I don't know if that's intentional or a game glitch. But everything that gets killed, even the cannibals, sit and spin. Makes it hard to clean them. I built a parking garage for the one-wheeler, our new tower, another, that was a rabbit, that really shot that rabbit, oh, another one, boom, that's pretty hilarious to me. I think I'm going to tire of just playing in free mode because I'm running out of things to do. But I might go out to the beach and build a big base to play on out there. That sounds like a cannibal coming. If I go out to the beach, I can ride the freewheeler build ramps and jump that. I can climb up the hills and fly the hang glider. The hang glider is a lot of fun. <laughs> Got to climb up into the snowy mountains or take my zip line up there. And then you just jump off and you can hang glide all around the island. Let's get a drink. All 
right. Thanks for watching. Like I say, I'm not a professional gamer. I'm not a YouTuber. I'm just a 166-year-old guy who likes to play games with my friends. Have a great day.